It's time to check the holes of Hartford Athletic. This week we go around the horn from the training pitch before the green and blue hit the road again. And we hear what Drenda Bruna had to say after making history last Saturday. First, let's hear from Drenda Bruna and Coach Ramos after the Young Academy product made his professional debut. Uh, it was something that, you know, was my dream. Ever since I joined the club, I've been working every single practice, every single training session to try and get to this goal. And this is just like the first chapter in my career. And now everything from here has to be forward, has to be up. You know, it's a blessing to make the debut. But I think it's also a tough result from us today. I think we'll learn from it and we'll bounce back next week. Yeah, you know, it's something that I've been looking forward to ever since I was a little kid. This is my dream and uh, I'm going to keep moving forward and especially do it in the state that I grew up in. It's also a big plus. I had a lot of family out here today to watch me, and it made me proud. Who was here? I was going to ask you. Who came to support you? Everyone. My dad, my mom, grandpa, grandma, cousins. I had everyone out here tonight. I think I did what my job was. Set out, get forward, get crosses in the box, be good offensively, be good defensively. Uh, I think it was a good shift. Obviously, tough to come off, but it was a good shift. Yeah, I mean, really happy for him. You know, uh, he did a great job. Um, I, I honestly couldn't have asked more from him. Uh, and I told him at halftime, I said, you know, I wish, wish I would have known you could, you know, you, you, you would do this well. Um, but unfortunately, we have to wait, you know, change the system. And because of the system, I got to take you off. And I didn't want to put him at left back to only defend because I think I'd put him at a disadvantage if I did that. Um, but he did a great job. Really happy for him. And, uh, you know, Really happy with all the work he's done to get here. Connor McGlynn, Richard Sanchez, and Coach Ramos discuss this weekend's matchup at Phoenix Rising FC. For sure. I think we've seen this year more than any that any team can go on the road and get, and get some wins. So I don't see why we can't do that. I think we have a great group of guys. So, yeah, we're going to go on the road with the intention of winning. Like I said, I think like this year more than ever, we have a great group of guys, you know, over the past few years. Like, I feel like when we get in a stretch like this, we would just put our heads down. But no, we're out here. We're working every day to, to try and get a result. And I think, you know, I think the positives are definitely coming. For sure. Uh, team morale, obviously, given the results that we've had, it hasn't been great, right? We just it's lingering in the back of our heads. That doesn't mean that we aren't uh, <clears throat> in tune with what we want and, and, and the camaraderie is still there. And the response is obviously to try and win the following game. And we can't just dwell on the ones that we that we lost. We got to learn from, you know, our mistakes. But we also just, you know, we got to highlight the things that we did well as well, and 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 focus on that and just try to do that on a consistent basis. Um, listen, everybody's important here, right? And who's ever called upon uh, has to respond. Uh, yeah, obviously now has been a presence in the back for us there, uh, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that you know Robin who stepped in a couple of times or Tristan who had to step in there, Cave and you know even Connor uh, at some times he he stepped in there to you know to to, to try and fill that role. So um, you know yeah, there's some there's some strengths and weaknesses within that, but we just got to make sure that we're we're trying to be consistent uh, you know with whomever is uh, uh, on the field. Well, I mean, I think it's a, it's a number of things. Number one, you know, obviously the weather, it's going to be about 100 degrees there on Saturday in Phoenix. So that, that will likely be a little bit tougher on us and it would be on them in theory. Obviously, both teams have to play the game. Uh, and then, you know, they, they have some good pieces. You know, Phoenix is a good team. Uh, they attack well. They, they, they dominate possession fairly well. Uh, so as long as we stay compact, I, I still think that we, can, uh, we, we have an opportunity to catch them on the counter. Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to likely be a little bit more conservative from the beginning than we've been in all these other games. Um, more, like I said, because of the weather, uh, because we have to get our guys to last 90 minutes. In particular, you know, not having Elvis up front uh, is, a, is a big loss for us at this point. Not having Kembo in the middle of the field is another big loss. And, and so we're a little bit thin, you know, and we have to get our guys to last the 90 minutes. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I think uh, I'm confident that the team can do well. That's this week's edition of Check the Pulse. Tune in this Saturday for a late kickoff at 10.30 p.m. Eastern to watch Hartford Athletic take on Phoenix Rising FC on ESPN Plus, WTNH.com, or MyTV9.